Natural killer cells. Let us first recall what we already know about natural killer cells. Natural killer cells are large granular lymphocytes. They are non phagocytic cells. The granules of NK cells contain preformed biologically potent molecules. Some of these molecules have capability to form pores in the membrane of target cell resulting in the lysis of the cell. And some other molecule induce apoptosis of the target cell. NK cells play a role in defense against both intracellular and extracellular pathogens. Let us now understand how NK cells defend against intracellular pathogens, for example, viruses. When a cell is infected with virus, the cell secretes type 1 interferons. These interferons bind to the interferon receptors on the NK cells and as a result, NK cells get activated, they proliferate and differentiate into affected NK cells. These affected NK cells have capability to recognize the cells which are infected by viruses. For this, they use specific receptors present on their surface which recognize the altered protein on the surface of infected cell. NK cell makes contact with the infected cell through these receptors. Once contact has been established, the granules of the affected NK cell diffuse with the plasma membrane of NK cell and these granules are shot out onto the outer surface of the target cell. As we said before, these granules contain biologically potent molecules, most of which are toxic proteins, also known as cytotoxins. One example is Perforin. Perforin inserts into the plasma membrane of the target cell and creates perforations in the membrane. This results in the lysis of the cell or cytolysis. Another important toxic protein is Granzyme. Granzyme induces the target cell to undergo apoptosis. Thus, NK cells result in killing of infected cell either by cytolysis or by apoptosis or we say it as programmed cell death. Let us now understand how NK cells provide defense against extracellular pathogens. As we know, NK cells are non-phagocytic cells, so they cannot kill extracellular pathogens directly. NK cells secrete interferon gamma, that is type 2 interferon. This interferon acts as macrophage activation factor. That is, these interferons, once released by the natural killer cell, bind to the specific receptors on the macrophages. As a result, macrophage becomes more activated and more efficient in phagocytosis and destruction of the pathogens. At the end of this video lecture, we now know that natural killer cells provide defense against both intracellular and extracellular pathogens. In case of intracellular pathogens, NK cells are directly involved, but they provide defense against extracellular pathogen indirectly.